Yeah. I know, I, I, I disappointed people by not being an actual pedophile, huh? <laughs> oh my god, no. You, please, that would mean children would have to be hurt. Nobody would, nobody is disappointed that you didn't get a chance to fuck a child, Lauren. That's like, I'm speechless, what the fuck? I think I disappointed NBC. Yeah, all the turkeys will be on clearance and your mom will probably get five of them from the pantry. She can give one to you. No, she won't get any from the pantry because then... She just goes out and buys her turkeys. Are you ever invited for Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah but she, she doesn't... She usually gets invited over Ralph and Lori's and... Or something like that. Usually it's Ralph and Lori that invite her for Thanksgiving dinner and Christmas dinner. They agree to it like but that. We don't, we because don't, nobody wants to have dinner with you, and then they know that you won't go to Ralph and Lori's. I think that's rude. No, that, it's been like, like that for years. Yeah, I know. Ever I mean, since you got out of prison. Before I, no, it's been before, even before I ever went to prison, before I ever, any of this stuff ever happened. That's just, wow, they this is the way it's always. This long ago? Oh, God, no. No, they don't hate me now. I don't hate them. Can I, I just ask you don't, a question? don't have anything to do with them now. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you? baby. Okay, it's not a mean, I don't mean it to be mean, but it might sound mean. Do they, like your brothers and sisters, let you around their kids? Even because of what happened? Um, they would, yeah. Oh, do they? But they nice. Their kids are all grown. Their kids are all grown now, except for Richard. Richard's the only one kid left. That's so, not 18 yet. Did they let you around their kids, like, when they were still kids? Or um, did they believe you? Oh, God, yeah. No, I was, I was around the kids all the time. After you got out of prison, maybe. No, after I got out of prison, no, because the kids are all grown then. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, there's grand. I mean, like, is your family protective around their children with you? Like, do they tell you you can't talk to the grand nieces or grandkids? No. Stuff? Oh, that's good. They let you no, hold the babies and stuff too. Well, I don't. I don't hold the babies. So. though. have you ever you know, held because babies? of class? I don't hold. Them. Oh God, yeah. They have a lot of babies. I love it. Even like, even like, if you're holding them and burping them, and they spit up little vomits on you, it's still cute because they're a little baby. See, I, I don't hold babies now or kids right now because because of class. That you know, the rules that you got to follow in the class. I, I just I'd have to do a safety plan and all that crap. The, really? I, just, I don't even bother. So what if yeah. like what if you sent some like one of, like one of your sister's grandkids or like something like that a Christmas present and then when they saw you they want to give you a hug are are you supposed to say no hugs? No, I'd give them a hug. Oh, good. You don't have to tell your probation officer that, do you? Because that feels dirty. A hug for a kid yeah. is fun, but it feels dirty when you have to yeah. confess like she's a priest. No, I, I would um, well, it's not my probation officer that I tell, it's, it's the class. I'd have to tell the class. And, and then, then they want an explanation, I tell them. They're going to want... They might meet my great nephew and, or my great niece, and they come up and want to give me a hug, so I give them a hug. Are they going to, like, if you tell them that, do they ask you stuff, like, did you have a sexual feeling when that happened, or do they ask you stuff like that because it's the class, like the type of class you're in? Yeah, they'd ask questions like that. And then you would, of course, say no. Uh, but, like, let's just say yeah, that somebody I would know, say yes. I don't. <laughs> let's say somebody would say yes to that question because they had those feelings. Would everybody in the class start yelling at them? Or, like, what would they do then? No, we're not, not allowed. To, you have to keep your, your calm when you're in the class, even with the things that, that you hear, which has been very hard for me. Uh, and uh, there's a couple other guys been really hard for. Yeah, there's a couple of us that have had to get up and walk out because we just couldn't couldn't deal with processing 
some of the stuff that some people have done. Wow. So sometimes it gets so and explicit it really just, that it, that, it hurts. That Sometimes it gets so explicit that it makes you uncomfortable and people have to leave. That must be really tough. It, 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 it's, it, it's, it's extremely uncomfortable for me because I don't like hearing I don't like hearing about kids getting hurt. You know, regardless of what I did, uh, my, my head weren't straight at the time. I couldn't think straight. Lauren, I don't um, think I've always protected I don't think- kids. I don't think that you would ever intentionally hurt a child and what you did, you knew would be harmful, but you didn't want to make it like a violent situation. And some of these guys, they like it violent and they like that the kids get hurt. I don't see that you like that. No, so That's not I mean, you. I, some, of I don't, guys are, some of these guys are really sick. And they really have some major problems. It, it, it sucks because it puts... Kids are such a danger that it makes you wonder how they even let people like that out of out of prison. And then when they like express themselves and all that stuff, it must be hard for those oh, but- people who like kids. Because it's like, how can you think like that about a child, like a little kid who's not able to defend themselves and you want to hurt them? Some of these guys like it when the kids bleed and scream and cry in pain. Yeah, I know. I've heard some of the stories. And they describe it. And some of those other guys in class, they are liking that description. And they probably go home and relieve themselves sexually. And that's disgusting. I feel really angry about that. Yeah, it's fucking... There's been a couple of guys in there that just, you just really want to fucking rip their heads off. They want to rip their heads off the children, too? But... No, that I, that I just want to rip their heads off. Oh, I know. It must be hard for you. Like, if you ever see them in public, you're like, man, if I could just punch them in the throat for what they did to that little baby. But you can't. I know. It makes you really... Oh, fuck. It really sucks. I hate thinking about this yet. Some of the things that I've heard in that class are just fucking... Oh, fucking hey. I'm sorry. Hard to be here. It's hard to think about some more shit. And then you know what else must be hard? is like they want you to say that you have feelings like that, even if you don't. Yeah. It's fucking... That's difficult, too. It's like, Jesus Christ. Because they're like, it's part of your treatment to admit mad. that you like it. It's part of your treatment to admit you have those feelings. And you might have some feelings, but you don't want to hurt a child. Hurting a child and liking to see them in pain, that's the worst thing, I think, in the world. That's the thing. I've I've, I've always stuck to the ground on it. It's not not that I wanted to go there because it was was a child. It was just because somebody was showing me love at the time that, I hadn't felt for a long time. Yeah, and you had a lot of problems, and you were out of control in your life, and you wanted control over something, and it's pretty easy to take control over somebody who just says, yeah, and okay, and all that other stuff, and it was a stupid decision that, and you were going to go, and, you know, it would have harmed her for life and screwed her up, but thank goodness that didn't happen, but as bad as that is. Yeah, I thank God every day. As bad as that is, I still think you're. I still think you're not as bad as those guys who smile when they know they're hurting somebody. Like if she screamed and said it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I think you would you would have stopped. Yeah, I wouldn't lie. I I really don't think that I ever even would have started. Oh, I think you would have. I think you would have gone all the way if she wanted to. But that's my point. That's not what I'm saying, though. My point is these people who like, they get off on 
pain from other people, except for when I do it to you. It's horrible. When I do it to you, it's great. Let's see. I, I, I know you say you think that I would have gone all the way, but I don't think I've, I would have gone all the way because I, I, I think most of my stuff would just talk. When it comes down to doing it, it's a totally different thing. Yeah, I know, I it was. I to do that. And you showed up and you asked for a kiss and all that stuff. But we don't have to go there, whether, I mean, we, nobody really knows, yeah. except for me. But what I, what I do know... <laughs> except for you. <laughs> what I do know is, like, you're not one of those guys who would, after she said no, like, you try to knock her out and punch her and then tie her up so you could get what you wanted. I don't think you would do that. No. No, I know for a fact I wouldn't do that. I don't, I don't even you, like punching adults. But yeah, right. Would you tie me up and have sex with me if I said I am consensual for that? If that's what you want and you trust me enough, and yeah. But I don't. Do I like doing that? No, I don't like doing that. It makes me. It makes me feel uncomfortable doing that. What are you typing, baby? I'm not typing anything. I'm in the reception. Hang, hang on, baby. Hang on. Drinking uh, lemon water. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. You're in the reception office right now? Yeah. They have lemon water in here. It's good. Are you drinking it? Yeah, and I'm going to go back outside right now. The receptionist keyboard is right by the lemon water, and I was serving myself. Oh. Okay, I'm back outside Oh, now. I love you, baby. I love you. I'm, I'm sorry I started breaking down it. I'm glad that you did. I'm glad that that bothers you. I'm glad it doesn't stimulate you. I am happy that you broke down. Oh, Don't apologize for doing something that a good person would do. <laughs> you know? That shit is fucking... Shit is really fucking hard. I know. And that's why I believe you when you said you wanted to help Emma stop these guys, even though you said it when you were drunk. And that's why you didn't get mad when she used your picture for Stanley Kendall. Because she wants to hurt these guys as much as they've hurt little children. And if she can use something from somebody who has, like, who owes something to the children of the world because of what happened. And she did. And and even though you didn't yeah. consent to it, you realize now that it, it's not something that you need to go after her for. Because it was a good thing. Yeah, I'm not going to go after Emma for anything. I love Emma. She's she's turned right around and she's been doing, she's done some good things. She's always loved you. She just thought that you were a bad guy pretending to be a good guy. And she felt betrayed, she said, when she heard all of the things you were saying to Ramona. And she was like, wow, this guy is not the guy I thought he was. And then she went back to fucking with you. And then you got to admit, anybody who hears that kind of stuff has a reason to feel negatively toward you and now she's your friend again so what yeah, they do. But... yeah i know I, I, I disappointed people by not being an actual pedophile huh <laughs> oh my god no you <laughs> please that would mean children would have to be hurt nobody would nobody is disappointed that you didn't get a chance to fuck a child lauren that's like I'm speechless. What the fuck? I think I disappointed NBC. So they concentrated so much on my conversation, and and they realized that I'm, that I'm not. Well, I started seeing what they see online. I, they realized that I'm not what they put me out to be. I see what you mean. So, like, you feel thankful that. These people are not justified in their hatred toward you because you're not a real pedophile. But yeah, nobody's thankful that you never got a chance to molest a child, Lauren. That's not an okay thing to even suggest. 
And you don't have to be a pedophile to want to fuck a 13 year old. Because you were treating her like a boy. I know you don't. I know you're saying you don't. And I, I don't think you are trying to do that at all right now. And whatever, but. I don't like it when people call me I a mean, pedophile I lover. I don't like it when they call you that either. I know. This is me on film. But they wouldn't fucking say that if I was there, right there in front of them. <clears throat> I'm very happy I have you. Even though you stress me out by mentioning other guys, I'm still happy that I have you because I know you, that you really love me. I know they're not just words. Very special on me. I know. Things are just going to get better with me and you. I'm not going to be doing that stupid shit I did before. Acting the stupid way I did. I'm sorry for that. I know you are, but you don't have to apologize to me for it. You just have to live your life the right way and never try to hurt anybody well, I again. To, I do have to apologize to you for it because it was you that I did it to. So I do owe you an apology for it. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want you to be a good man. That's all I want, be too. So, like, you said that people are upset you didn't turn out to be a pedophile. What makes you think people don't think that you are one still? A lot of people probably do think that. But then they, they get to know me, and sometimes I think they're disappointed to find out that I'm not. Because of, because of the, their, all, the, all the shit that's online. It ruins their fun. These people that have no life, <sighs> like, like the ones that constantly go on there and, and do stupid shit, say stupid shit. Okay. Oh, baby, I love you. I love you. You do it. Very much. Very anxious for you to come here and be with me. Very anxious to get your closet done in the master bathroom, the master bedroom. That's one of the reasons I need to, I need to make sure I get a proper amount of sleep because the more the, the better sleep I get, the more I'm able to work better and if I can get extra extra loads and make extra money then it helps me to know that I'll be able to get all that done before you get here. You know? Yes. You okay, honey? Yes. 
Okay. You sound like you're crying for a second there. I am. Why are you crying? Because I'm horny. <laughs> Uh, you can't play with my pussy yet. You have to wait till later. I think that um, you should go to Tony's today and hang out with your friend. Nope. Today I gotta go home and try to help Roy get some of that back part of the metal shed done so that he can get in there and sleep instead of sleeping in his van. Yeah, his van probably smells like old ass and grime and Paul's cum. Butt buddies. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I'm not going to find out. <laughs> I thought I'd, you know, I thought I'd smell a stench this morning when I opened the door and opened the door because I wanted to woke him up. He opened, he opened the door and I, and I pulled the door open. I was expecting a smell to come out, but I didn't. I was like, huh. I said, this doesn't smell as bad as what it did before. He said, no, I just vacuumed it yesterday. He said, I'm going to vacuum it again today, too. It's because you're used to that said, smell already. Take some bleach to what? Because your whole trailer probably smells no, like I'm that. No, I'm not. No, it doesn't. No, my trailer don't smell like that. Worst, the worst smell my trailer gets is smell like dog. Except for that carpet. That carpet, I'm going to pull that carpet out because dog is uh, the doctor's the rental house there. There's a carpet over there that I can put in our, in our house. No, uh, don't put somebody else's old fucked up cummy carpet there. Is that the same carpet you were laying down no, on? No, a picture of you and Roscoe. The one that that's in our house now. Yeah, but I've shampooed that a few times over. But it's still it's just so old. It's a shag carpet. Or kind of like a shag carpet. It used to be a shag carpet. It's just so old that you know you can't get the can't get it back, so it looks any better than what it does. Did you know that uh, trampolines used to be called jumpolines? Nope. Until your mom used one in nineteen seventy two. That was. Not long after she had me. She must have been holding me while she was using that. Yeah. <laughs> and no, baby, this carpet at the doctor's rental home, it, it's out in the, the garage, overhead garage place. And it's all laid out, and it's, it's, it looks like it just needs to be shampooed, back in the shampoo. So I figured, and it's it's in good condition. So I think, well, if I can get that back to looking like new, because I have a Kirby vacuum and shampoo or two, if I can get that back to look like new, then I can just use that. Just put that in there. <laughs> so I, I want to tell you what I want to do, but I haven't told you yet. Okay. Does it have to do with Dan's naked body? Because I'm all in. No, it doesn't. And if it did, you wouldn't be all in. You'd be all okay. out. I know I would. I'd have my bra off, so everything would be out and ready. No. I really wish you would stop saying that to me. That's why I believe that you're really, you're really in love with him. I'm not in love with Dan. I, he's just my sexual fantasy. I've seen him naked, and um, I can't stop wanting that. <sighs> Next. What, more than me? Oh, my nipples just got really hard right more, now. More, more than me? bumps on my forearms. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Must want it more than me, because you don't get goosebumps with me. No, I do like it. <sighs> <sighs> I just imagined him pushing, pushing his lips against the back. Listen, yeah. baby, come on. You gotta knock it off. You really need to stop doing that. Okay. Why would you do that? Is there something bothering you or what? Is that why you keep doing it to me?
Huh? I don't like it when they call me Mr. Penis and Mrs. Penis. And it makes me mad at you for doing what you did. Baby, I can't do anything about what I did now. I can't do anything about that. You can go do exercises on a jumpoline. Oh, what's that gonna what's that gonna help in a, in a situation with this? Because you take your frustration out physically and then you feel better. Oh well, that's why I, that's why I chopped in wood yesterday. Is that why your arms Those are big all frustrations out. strong now? Is that why my arms are long? Strong. Strong. Kind of, because I've, I've always worked. I've always worked hard. Even growing up, I worked in the woods, I worked hard. I want to be as hot as your mom was when she was 16 years old taking clock in the hay ride. Uh, no, I don't think she ever took clock in the hay ride. Your mom was probably a hot But I don't know, kid. sure, you can... She, she and my mom used to have a, a good body for her, for someone back then. Uh, I see pictures of her while, when I was a little kid, and I'm like, wow. 